Hey everyone! In today's video I will be showing you how to create a fantastic lion pillow, perfect as a gift for kids. I used chunky chenille yarn and a 4.5mm crochet hook. I previously made koala and chip pillows and you can find the PDF pattern for two of them in my Etsy shop. If you are interested in a koala pillow video tutorial, let me know in the comment section. I have decided to split this tutorial into two parts, with the second part coming tomorrow. I will include the link to the second part in the video description. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Your support means a lot. Now let's dive into the tutorial. So we will start with a magic circle. Now chain one and we will work our first round inside the circle. If you chain that four, you will work inside the chain four circle. So in round number one, we will make six single crochets. So this is your first single crochet, second single crochet, third single crochet. Four, five, and six, and close your circle. Round number two. So I will place the marker onto every first stitch I made, not onto the last stitch, but onto the first stitch. In round number two, we will make two single crochet into each stitch. So this is your first stitch, place the marker. And make one more single crochet into the same stitch. Now make two single crochet into the next stitch. And continue all around. You should have 12 stitches all together in round number two. Round number three, we will work one single crochet into the next stitch. Remember to replace your marker. And two single crochet into the next stitch. So we will work in this sequence. One single crochet into the next stitch, two single crochet into the next stitch. Continue all around. You should have 18 stitches all together in round number three. Round number four, make one single crochet into the first two stitches, replace marker, so one, then one single crochet into the next stitch, and make two single crochet into the next stitch, and work the sequence all around, one single crochet into the next two stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch. You should have 24 stitches all together in this round. Round number four, sorry, number five, make one single crochet into the next three stitches and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. You should have 30 stitches all together in round number five. So one single crochet into the first three stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch. Round number six, make one single crochet into the next four stitches and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Continue the sequence all around. You should have 36 stitches all together in round number six. Round number seven, make one single crochet into the first two stitches. So this is first, this is the second one. Now make two single crochet into the next stitch. And from now on work in the sequence. One single crochet into the next five stitches. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. So work this sequence. One single crochet into the next five stitches. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Uh, four times more. 
so five times altogether. So one single crochet into the next five stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch. And once you have almost done, you can see last three stitches left. So make one single crochet into the last into those last three stitches. Two, three. And let's start round number eight. Make one single crochet into the next six stitches. Then make two single crochet into the next stitch. You should have 48 stitches in round number eight. So one single crochet into the next six stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch, continue all around. Round number nine, we will start with one single crochet into the first two stitches. So this is your first single crochet, this is your second single crochet. And now make two single crochet into the next next stitch. Like this. And from now we will start work in sequence. One single crochet into the next seven stitches. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. We will make it five times all together. So one single crochet into the next seven stitches. Two single crochet into the next stitch. Make it five times all together. And you can see that last five stitches left. So make one single crochet into those last five stitches. Three, four, five. And let's start round number nine. Sorry, round number 10. So make one single crochet into the next eight stitches. Then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Continue all around. You should have 60 stitches all together in round number 10. Round 11, so we will start with one single crochet into the first two stitches. And then make two single crochet into the next stitch. And from now on we will work in the sequence. One single crochet into the next nine stitches, then two single crochet into the next stitch. Work this sequence five times. So one single crochet into the next nine stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch. You should have 66 stitches altogether in round number 11. And you can see you have last seven stitches left, so make one single crochet into the last seven stitches. And round number 12, make one single crochet into the next 10 stitches and then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Work this sequence all around, you should have 72 stitches all together in round number 12. Round 13. Make one single crochet into the first two stitches and then make 
to single crochet into the next stitch. And from now, work in the sequence. One single crochet into the next 11 stitches, then make two single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that sequence five times. and make one single crochet into the last nine stitches you should have 78 stitches all together in this round Round 14, make one single crochet into the next 12 stitches, then make one, two single crochet into the next stitch. So one single crochet into the next 12 stitches, two single crochet into the next stitch. You should have 84 stitches altogether in this round number 14. Round number 15, we will start the craze in this round. So we will start with one single crochet into the next 12 stitches. And now we will make a decrease. How to make a decrease? So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up the loop. You have two loops on your hook. Now insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up the loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all these three loops. So this is your decrease. Let's show another one. So again, we'll make one single crochet into the next 12 stitches. And make one decree. So one more time. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up the loop. You have two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up the loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So continue this segment all around. In round number 16, we'll work in the back loops only. So here are the back loops. We will work in those back loops only. We will start round number 16 which, with one single crochet into the first two stitches. Remember we are working in the back loops only in round number 16. So this is your first single crochet, second single crochet and now we are making a decrease and also in the back loops only. So yeah, like that. And now we will work in the sequence. One single crochet into the next 11 stitches then one decrease. Continue this sequence all around. 
You should have 72 stitches altogether in round number 16. Remember, you are working in the back loops only. And last 9 stitches left, just make one single crochet into those last 9 stitches, remember in the back loops only. Okay, we'll start round number 17. We are working again under both loops from now. So make one single crochet into the next 10 stitches, then make one decrease. Repeat that sequence all around. You should have 66 stitches altogether in round number 17. And now it's a perfect time to turn your work inside out. So this tail should be inside, not outside. So you have now right side outside. Let's start round number 18. We will start this round with one single crochet into the first two stitches. Two, and then make one decrease. And from now work in sequence, one single crochet into the next nine stitches, then make one decrease. And make the sequence five times altogether, you should have 60 stitches in the round number 18. And last seven stitches left, so make just one single crochet into those last seven stitches. And round nine, number 19, make one single crochet into the next eight stitches, then make one decrease. Continue this sequence all around. You should have 54 stitches altogether in round number 19. Round number 20, make one single crochet into the next seven stitches, then make one decrease. Continue all around, you should have 48 stitches all together in round number 20. Round number 21, we will start with one single crochet into the first two stitches.
and then make one decrease. Or make and now make one single crochet into the next six stitches, then make one decrease. Repeat that sequence five times all together. So last four stitches left, make one single crochet into those last four stitches. And let's start round number 22. Make one single crochet into the next five stitches, then make one decrease. Continue all around, you should have 36 stitches altogether in round number 22. Before we restart round number 23, let's fill up our pillow a bit. For now we will only do it on the sides, not on the center. Okay, that's enough for now, let's start round number 23. In round number 23 we will make one single crochet into the next 4 stitches, then we will make one decrease. Continue all around, you should have 30 stitches all together in round number 23. Round number 24, make one single crochet into the next 3 stitches, then make one that decrease. Repeat that sequence all around, you should have 24 stitches all together in round number 24. Round number 25, make one single crochet into the next two stitches, then make one decrease. Continue all around, you should have 18 stitches all together in round number 25. Add more stuff. Remember to not overstuff or understuff your pillow. It should be still soft but firm. Let's start round number 26. Make one single crochet into the next stitch, make one decrease. Continue all around. You should have 12 stitches all together in round number 26. Okay, the last round, number 27, we will make just 4 decreases here. So not 6 decreases, but 4 decreases. This is your first decrease, second, third, and fourth. Then cut your yarn, leave long tail for saving. Now you can add some more stuff to your pillow if you need. Take the crochet needle, thread your yarn onto the needle and insert your needle under the front loop only, so not under the bot loops like that, but under just front loops here. So first And continue all around. Second, remember, just the front loops. Three. And four. And five. Six. Seven. And eight and close the hole by pulling the yarn like that. Now secure, hide your tail and that's the first part is done. I will see you in the second part of the video. Thanks for watching, bye!